All right, welcome back to episode two of our Unreal Engine tutorial. So um, where we left off is basically we started our first person template project. If we hit play right here, we can uh, walk around, we can shoot stuff. Sorry if that was really loud. I forgot that it had a sound involved already. And um, it's a pretty nice feeling project in real work really hard on these uh, template files and it shows um, it feels really good and um, it's a nice starting point uh, so I'll press escape and get out of it uh, we'll talk about some of the features of the uh, editor itself for example if I click on this block we can uh, move it around using the select and translate tool by clicking right here and we can move it left right uh, back and forth on the X Y and Z axis you can preview that all live. The reason it feels so good to move around in this one versus Unity is for some reason the snapping is just really good. Like if I set this to snap at 100, I can actually see where it's snapping and it's really easy to get objects exactly where you want them to go. Um, I, I attribute it to the snapping, but it could be something else. It just feels really nice to edit in Unreal Engine. Um, we can also rotate objects, so if we click on the Select and Rotate tool, we can rotate on um, all of the axes as well. And um, the Scale tool will let us actually scale objects and make them taller, shorter, uh, wider, anything we want. And when we hit Play, we can see that now we have a long rectangular box instead of a square one. And all of these objects also have physics um, attached to them. So we can see that um, the mass is 744 kilograms. And if we make it larger, it actually takes up more mass, um, calculates it for us. We can also, also go in and change um, the material to a different type of material. For example, if we wanted to, we can put a floor material um, whatever it is we want it to do, but let's go ahead and put that back. So, I want to import some assets to kind of make this look a little cooler. I want to put some landscape and terrain behind us so we see some mountains and um, get rid of these walls so we could walk around a larger playscape. So, we need uh, some materials for this and we need a landscape. So, we have the landscape here and now we just need a material so if I choose this one for example and then um, click on create it'll create a landscape with a regular white material and um, we can sculpt it for example if I use this sculpting tool and um, you know just drag over here we can see that it's actually making some shapes here and they're all shiny because we used our our weird white material as a standard which uh, doesn't look too great but it works so we're gonna undo that with control Z and um, undo creating the landscape with control Z if you want to get rid of the landscape without using control Z you can just click on this landscape right here and hit delete and it'll do the same thing so we need some textures for our landscape. So we're gonna go into our Epic Launcher. You're gonna go to your marketplace. And I found a really, really cool texture, uh, or material I should say, uh, made by Epic Games in the Soul City demo. So we're gonna grab that one. So if we scroll down on the free assets and go to Soul City, and then add it to our project. You may have to download it first. We'll click on YouTube Unreal. Alright, so we're back. Uh, let's go back to our game. 
and uh, let's go to content and we'll see that we now have Soul City in our content folder. So we're going to create that uh, that landscape again, but we're going to choose a different material. And the material that we're going to choose, if we type in landscape, we'll see that we have M Soul Landscape Single Layer. We're going to do that one. This is an invaluable asset. It's already set up for height mapping and everything, so it's just really easy to edit. And um, it looks amazing. Like I know it sounds funny to say that a uh, material is is worth so much, but this really is. I've used it so much before. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and create. And now we have this uh, floor, right? So let's go down here and take a look at this. And it looks pretty good. It looks like there's some grass there and some leaves. And when you zoom out, it looks all HD. But this texture, this material, has a secret. Uh, if I zoom out a little bit and then grab our sculpt tool, uh, we can actually, I uh, need to give it a little bit more strength than that. size whoa too big <laughs> let's set this back down to over here good all right so as you can see as our mountains get higher um, they're actually the texture changes into this rocky texture and in the areas that are a little lower they have grass so oh, Maybe a little too much on the tool strength. Let me lower that down. So we can just go ahead and and draw some mountains all around our play area. And this already looks so good. So we're drawing mountains, drawing mountains, random mountains, random mountains, tall mountains, short mountains. <laughs> I'm probably so annoying. Um, so we'll draw some over here. We're just going to make it so that our character can't get out of this large mountain range. Right? And I'll even put a little area down there that's a little raised. So now when we hit play, if I look around, I can see some mountains. And that looks really, really, really freaking cool. Uh, if I press escape, we can go a step further and get rid of this floor. Uh, let's go back to our placement one and get rid of the floor and these four walls Oops. all right and you'll notice that there's still some shadows and the shadows are misplaced because um, we have to rebuild the lighting because we've changed a bunch of stuff in it so we need to rebuild the lighting but as you could tell we're already walking on the ground and we have some really nice looking mountains and textures that you can walk up on and see them a little higher but it still knows that this is grass this is walkable area and then in the higher up areas it's actual rocks and mountainous ranges right so I think this looks really really awesome um, and I'm gonna pause it here press escape and um, we're gonna rebuild our lighting so if we go to build lighting only It'll actually rebuild all of our shadows and everything like that. And um, once it's done, it'll take a while, by the way. All right. Once it's done, we're going to have a lot more realistic lighting and shadows um, so we can see that it's actually working very well there in the grass this one's not fixed because it's actually an immobile object so I just have to lower that to the ground so that the shadow matches properly and same with that one over there but all the other objects are properly lit and work now so I'm gonna pause it here and um, we're going to add some new stuff to our game in the next episode. Uh, be sure to leave your comments below if you have any ideas or suggestions. And thank you so much for watching.
Peace. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, be sure to support me on Patreon and you'll get your name in every video produced while you're a supporter. And you'll also get access to project files for all of our game projects, including Game Salad, Game Maker Studio 2, Unity, and Unreal Engine. Uh, they're not quite all up there yet, but I am uploading them and I am um, organizing all that now for you. So be sure to jump over to Patreon and support me. And uh, thanks again for watching. Enjoy the rest of the series. Peace.